Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, or tonight, I'm going to be talking about Nucleus Vision and how they completely dropped the ball on their ICO and their, their crowd sell. So they just announced hard cap breached, no public sale. They're going to do some airdrop. So they're saying this airdrop to try to not make us all disappointed and angry at them. Well, Ian Bellina right now is talking in an AMA with the Nucleus Vision CEO. And you can tell, just read the comments above, they're angry. He's not asking any of the right questions. They're talking about just some announcement they're going to have. Ian's saying, hey guys, don't get emotional with this. Well, if this was any other, any other ICO, Ian would be saying how bad this was, how they dropped the ball, how this is ridiculous. But since he's invested in this because he's an advisor, he probably is getting a huge amount of tokens, he's going to shield this as hard as possible. He's going to talk about how this isn't a big deal, how regulations are coming out, so they're doing this, they're doing that. He's going to sell whatever he can to try to defend them because it's his ICO. Any other ICO, again, he would have just threw him to the, to the curb. This is embarrassing, Ian. I am embarrassed by you. I used to love watching you. You do great work. But now that you're getting emotionally involved and actually advising ICOs, you don't care. You're losing all, at least, trust from me. I can't speak for the rest of the community, but this looks bad, in my opinion. So basically, Nucleus Vision is saying they initially tried to raise $60 million, but was advised to go down. And it's probably by Ian because he doesn't like those big ICOs with, with huge caps. So they lowered to 40 million. And however, due to the rise of Ethereum prices, which yeah, it rose, but when you were accepting whitelist individuals, it was like $1,400. What's, what's Ethereum right now? Ethereum is $1,100. It went down. So explain to me how Ethereum, when you were accepting whitelist was higher, but now it went down and you decided, well, we're just gonna cancel the public sale. This is, we've, we haven't seen this, or if we have, we haven't seen it from one of the hyped ICOs, possibly the most hyped ICO for the past two months. And the one guy that most of the community go to when things happen like this is an advisor. Therefore, personally involved and is gonna shill it like no other. <sighs> this is embarrassing. I'm sure maybe Superman, any uh, Crypto Daily, any of the other ones will probably come out and do what Ian would have done if it wasn't his ICO. I know I'm just a small YouTuber right now. Hopefully soon I'll, I'll, I'll get bigger. We'll see. Either way, this is embarrassing. This is bad because people, including myself, were saving up Ethereum to put into Nucleus Vision because we knew how big of a project this potentially was. They have 50,000 people in their Telegram. Since we were saving it, we weren't investing it in other ICOs. So now that's doing nothing. It's literally sat. And I think we've actually lost, no, wait, 1,400 to 1,100. Yeah, we've lost money. My $1,400 is now worth $1,100 because I waited for you and you said, sorry, we don't care. So this is embarrassing. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, I do want to get your opinions. I know there's a bunch of people right now talking and you're not getting hurt at all because there's just so much going on. Ian doesn't care to look at your questions. He's saying he's going to read every single comment. That's a lie. There's way too much going on. Um, this is going to be taken over by whales. As you can see, everybody knows this. This is going to be all the whales taking over. Ian's going to be one of them, personally involved. Anyways, let me know what you think. Nucleus Vision, you dropped the ball. I really hope the community rallies behind each other and blacklist Nucleus Vision because we don't want to see this happen with other ICOs. And if Nucleus Vision is able to do this and become successful with what they're doing, this could be a trend that other ICOs do, and that would be awful. We don't want that. So let me know what you think. Come to my Discord. It's in the description. Comment. Maybe Ian will read this or watch his video and he could comment. Anyways, thanks again. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.